Hey Collective, how's everybody tonight? I'm doing good. I hope that you guys are doing great and having a good night. We're doing good. I just was holding Evie on the couch and snuggling with her for a while. She just had a full body massage and some Reiki <laughs> and a treat and love. She's been hitting her hold me and snuggle me. I love you mommy button so you can't say no to that. <laughs> She's so cute. She's still laying down in the living room. She's not in here right now. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope that you'll please like and share and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. So whenever I upload new videos, you guys will be notified, okay? All right, so let's tap in. We've got the late realization. As soon as he thinks you might have moved on and are no longer a possibility, he wants you again. On the bottom of the deck, we have the getter. The getter are the ones who love the process of pursuing their target. And this is crazy because my one of my last readings I've uploaded today was about you being a target. Okay, so here we go. We're tapping in. Spirit's giving us some more of the story. So we've got, uh, you are tired of drama. Okay, first card out. You've been praying to God, asking for help to remove the drama from your life. Okay. You could even have paid someone a donation or something to understand the drama, to get rid of the drama, to do something with the fucking drama. We have an entity attachment. So this person that's full of drama has an entity attached to them. Or they were trying to attach one to you. We have a thief. And destruction. That's what this drama entails. Is an entity that's a thief that's going to siphon out of you and create nothing but chaos and destruction in your life. We have a hater. And this hater is hating on this sweetheart here. Okay, this person could come in saying, please help me, I'm in poverty. But there were some serious endings with this drama starter here and this hater here. They can't come back over this road. Their path is over with you and they can't figure that out. This person just wants to manipulate you. And this could have been someone that you were in a relationship with, with the false twin flame here. Okay. Or they kept you dependent on them and manipulated you, controlled you, your money, controlled the relationship, controlled the narrative. They could have stolen from you person was possessed with something and they caused a lot of chaos in your life and turned your world upside down with this tornado here it like your shit's just flying out everywhere they could have thrown your stuff out the house you could you could have been thrown out of the house god well this entity was sent in to try to sacrifice you and to put an end to you okay We've got the hangman. I think that's Pisces. Let me, let me make sure. And then the death card is Scorpio here. Let's see. Yeah, the hangman is Pisces and Aquarius. And then the death card is Scorpio. It's the end of something old so that something new could begin has something to do with your spirituality, with your religious beliefs. They could say that that you make offerings to demons or entities to encompass your spiritual gifts and they want to try to steal them from you. They could have tried to trap you in something. This entity was trying to restrain you. You were dissatisfied with this person in this relationship. You've gone through a transformation. You have new beginnings in your life that's going on. Whatever this was is final. It's over. It's the end of the cycle. We have the Seven of Cups. 
So this entity was causing a lot of confusion and illusion. And you walked away from this. You freed yourself from this fucking prison. And from this entity here. This person had a lot of fantasies and desires and temptations that they were chasing. And it was very destructive. They had a lot of options. They're daydreaming, but they didn't lack, or they lacked putting their dreams into motion. Okay. They could act like they did all kinds of things and they actually did nothing. Well, this hater here. Hating on this sweetheart. We have the lovers here. That's Gemini energy. Let's see. The Seven of Cups is Scorpio. And then the Eight of Cups is Pisces. It's a lot of Pisces and Scorpio right there. Okay. We've got the lovers. With the Two of Cups. So here's this relationship here. There's a soulmate connection. You could have loved each other at one point. You could have been in agreement and a loving partnership at some point with this false flame. And then something happened. And they started being tempted with things. And f wanting to fill, fulfill fantasies. Started seeking out someone else in the relationship we have the eight of pentacles the ace of swords so the truth is going to be coming about out something to do with the king of pentacles here that can't pick it up that is in the nine of swords whatever it's time for zoomies mommy move your ass <laughs> if you just said no baby not right now mommy's doing a reading so this king of pentacles could be a gemini or this king of pentacles could be a cancer or a taurus virgo capricorn we've got the ace of swords here so that's air signs <laughs> libra gemini aquarius <laughs> Two of Cups is Cancer. <laughs> and the Eight of Pentacles is Virgo. Okay. So, someone that you were in a false twin flame union with could have gotten into an agreement also with someone else. King of Pentacles could be a father figure. We have. <laughs> she wants me to hold her now. I love you so oh goodness. So we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this could be family. This could be a father figure. Maybe your father figure uh, made some kind of donation to this false twin flame to control the narrative of this relationship and then to walk out and leave you in the Ten of Wands with nothing but burdens. Well, you didn't have any justice, but justice is here, and so so is the law enforcement. We've got the police, we've got the police department here. So this justice here, you could be ending up in court because of something that this false flame has done. They could have literally stolen money from you, um, but this person's hating on you pretty fucking bad. They could have left you in a state of poverty in the Five of Pentacles with death energy with they sacrificed you for something else, for an entity that attached to them. Okay? They affected your stability. They left you in the Nine of Swords. Well, the truth is coming out about something that this motherfucker did to you. Okay? in the justice system the courts are getting ready to get involved you could end up in some kind of conflict with this person this 
person put you in competition. They're a rival. You could end up in a disagreement with this person. And we have a queen of pentacles here. So this could be like a mother and a father that hired a false flame here to get into a, a lover's two of cups union with you. And the lovers are soulmates. And the two of cups is more of a divine union. And this should have been... A divine union but this was a false flame they fell from grace and they forfeited their blessings and their ten of pentacles with you so now this if this uh, if you were this queen of pentacles and this partner here was a king of pentacles you could be facing each other in court because of the conflict that was created could have been a death plot on your life Well, <clears throat> we've got the High Priestess here. And you've been defending yourself, your psychic abilities. You've been defending yourself and finding out secrets. We have the Two of Wands and the Sun. So something has been illuminated to you as you've been going through this path after you've walked away from this person or they walked away from you. Some truth is coming to light. And the police have gotten involved. Okay. And now this person's really stressed. Or the police department could be stressed over what they found out. Because there's a ritual that's backfired. Okay. And the way that this is laying down right now. This ritual in reverse. Whatever it was. It didn't work that they've tried to do to attach this entity because the entity attachment is right above it. It didn't work. So whatever they tried to put onto you, it's come back onto them. This person could be hallucinating is what I just was told. Well, this person is enamored with you. And this could even be a law enforcement officer that knows that this ritualistic magic and occultism is going on. And it keeps coming out in my readings that there's a law enforcement officer that is in love with you and enamored by you <laughs> that is going to be coming in with a message regarding something that your family has done and their family was involved in this ritual here. It's a ritual sacrifice. This hanged man. And this police officer could be coming in with, with a real love offer. Or this police officer knows that this false flame was sent in to act like they really loved you and that your family were behind it and this was a paid hitman. Okay? Well. <clears throat> this relationship. They, they know about these lovers. They know about this two of cups they know about any kind of agreement or partnerships that were formed they know that they were working diligently on this on some kind of ritual that they had specifically crafted they had a master an expert craft it could be like a voodoo priest or something well the truth has been discovered And law enforcement knows and there could have been a lot of money involved here and by coming in and doing this this person has lost their inheritance of this ten of pentacles they sacrificed themselves by working with this corrupt family You're being protect this police officer could protect you from a sexual incident because this person they know this person's sick they could be coming in to tell you that this person is sick and not to be intimate with this person they have a disease trying to prevent a natural disaster from occurring in your life could be a family member that is sick and has something. 
Well, we've got a karmic masculine here that you're being protected from sexually. And it's a Knight of Cups in reverse. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This person's a heartbreaker. They're really moody. You've got unrequited love with this person, and this person is a troublemaker. And we got a karmic feminine that wants a four of wands here. So, or could be married to this person here, or they're in a committed relationship. This person thinks that this karmic masculine belongs to them. There was a love offer here that created emotional pain. And we have intuitive Kev. So your psychic ability has told you to stay the hell away from this person or you were consulting psychics or getting readings or listening to readings to know that you need to stay away from this person that they were sick because this person's getting ready to experience some harsh fucking karma and you need to stay away from it. A natural disaster is getting ready to happen in this person's life. This emperor here, this authority figure here is coming in. You're being protected from this person sexually. They're under judgment. Alright. You could be getting some quick communication regarding this. It's going to be coming in fast. You're going to celebrate that you're safe and you, you've been protected from this person. It could be a group of people involved. It could be from third party uh, situations that occurred with cheating. We've got the Page of Wands, so you're going to be getting some good news coming in that you could be happy about. We've got the Nine of Cups here. You're going to have some wishes fulfilled. You're going to be happy. You've manifested something, and your desires are coming true. And this Emperor could be helping with that. We've got the Ace of Wands here, so there's a new beginning coming in. You could change... Uh, could have something changing in your life for the better. You're going to have more creative energy. You're going to have some kind of opportunity coming in. And we've got the world here. So this cycle is over. This is a completion to this. It's the end of something. You could be traveling or flying somewhere. The universe is in your favor. And judgment is here. We've got this empress here. This empress is being protected by this emperor. We have a king of swords. This is Archangel Michael energy. Coming in to tell you the truth. About the seven of swords here. About what they were trying to steal. About the deceit. Deception and lies. This person was cheating. This person is a thief. They're manipulative. They're sneaking around. They're doing bad things. They're very deceitful. You can't trust this person. And you're going to have victory and success over this. And it's going to be made known publicly. So the public can know about this court case here. We've got a king of cups. This could be a father figure. So we have the ten of cups here. Maybe this person is a father. Or this emperor could be coming in to offer this empress here um, a Ten of Cups union. Because this police officer is enamored <laughs> with this empress here. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's what the cards say. I'm just reading the energy. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's funny. And this person is going to get what they want. <laughs> You ran away from this crazy false flame, okay? You could have caught them cheating. All right, you found evidence that they were cheating on you. Could have found messages in their phone. They were out fulfilling fantasies, or this person had uh, fantasies that they don't want people knowing about, okay? And the lovers here can also be same-sex relationships. On the bottom of the deck here, we have death. So you're running away from death. You're running away from endless harm that was inevitable being in this relationship with this false flame that had this entity attached. 
on the bottom of this deck, we've got the King of Swords again. So, you're being protected from death. You could be hurried up and taken away so that something doesn't happen to you. On the bottom of this deck, we've got the Devil. So, we've got a Capricorn here. The presence of temptation, addi addiction, materialism, sex, cheating, and violence. And if this person were to try to come towards you with some kind of love offer, okay, there's magic involved. Wow, we've got the magician and the moon right here, okay? And they were collaborating with others. This could be a, a coven here. But you've healed from this shit. You're in this Queen of Swords energy. They better fucking not. They're gonna fuck around and find out. They fucked with the wrong one. You took your cup of love away. They can't have it anymore. And you got in your chariot and you moved the fuck on. And they better not come in with some stupid little offer with this Page of Pentacles, Knight of Wands energy trying to come in. Because you will be sexually protected by the police if this devil energy... Whoever this is tries to come towards you. Your spiritual gifts have revealed to you. This veil has been lifted. Okay, that you need to stay away from this person because this person's fucking sick. Your gifted high priestess here and something here in the distant future is going to leave this person mentally and emotionally unstable. They're very jealous and envious of you, Divine Feminine. Okay. You're getting ready to end up in court. Divine Masculine, you all flip it how it resonates. They have no access to you. The courts have blocked access to you. The courts are not going to allow them to come near you. Because you're an earth angel and they know this. You're single and you're sexy and you're successful. And you're a beautiful earth angel. And you are protected by the divine and by this police officer right here. This lust demon is confused. Because this voodoo doesn't have any way to fulfill its mission okay you're in this beautiful rising star energy and this ice king is creating false false narratives about your divinity okay this ice king's being an asshole spreading gossip and rumors about you and could be trying to say that you're not an earth angel and that you're a devil but that's not the case you're the devil so this nice guy here this police officer could have to change after work <laughs> and then uh could be on a pathway right to you to tell you about this false information that's been set on you they know that you're unbothered and you're this mature woman that you're just loving yourself and they know that death magic was involved over this oh shit and over you just dropped all the cards Huh. And you're achieving your goals. You're very abundant in life. The legal system is here. And someone that was in a third party situation could have snitched to the courts. They could have snitched. We've got a, we've got a snitch here. Could have snitched that this rich guy here paid a lot of money. To some boss to create this love spell and to create conflict in your life here with this destructive tornado and they trusted that it was also going to possibly affect your house okay or your stability some unexpected money has appeared And they awaken to the fact that you have moved on. Could have found that out through divination. Okay. Or they've paid actual money to have readings done on you. Okay. They've paid practitioners. And they found out that you're held in high honor through this divination here. Now they're all in their thoughts. Because they don't know how they're going to transition you out. And they know that this grave that they dug for themselves, or that they dug for you is for them. They dug their own fucking grave. You're in your north node and they're not going to be able to affect your chakras. You're sealed and you're protected and you're safe in the 5D and the 3D. 
period. Because that's what Spirit said. And they can't steal from you. They're not going to be able to hurt you. And R-A-P-E you. Because the law, this R-A-P-E plot keeps coming out in my readings. 25-20 on the clock. Let's get some, uh, let's get some of these. See if we can see what these people might look like. Someone could be a blusher here. Could wear a lot of blush. Or like heavy makeup. Someone could have identifiable scars. Someone is attractive. Someone is petite. Someone has hazel eyes. We have a man. And he has a beard. You're powerful. I didn't realize how powerful you are. We've got a twin flame here. Tell me more. Someone may like to drink. Looks like this guy has like scotch or something in their glass. Someone has a square face. Someone could be pregnant. Someone could be skinny, skinny and petite. Someone could have curly hair. I feel like there is a feather in my nose. <laughs> Spirit's like tickling me. Okay. Someone has an average physique. physique. Someone could have black hair. Someone has straight hair. Someone has wavy hair, someone ha wears a kerchief on their head, or like a do-rag or something. Someone has freckles. Someone has blue eyes. Someone could have a baby face and look really young for their age. Someone could have blonde hair. We have a woman. We've got a red head. Someone could have a red beard. Or a black beard. Someone wears a beard so they don't have a baby face.
someone likes to wear red lipstick. Someone has street fashion. Someone has dark eyes. Someone likes to wear high heels. Long nails. Dark skin. A pointed nose. And a pale skin tone. Someone could be like goth or emu. Mm. Right. Let's see if I'm drawn to anything else. I'm drawn here. Whoa, I'm drawn here. What's going to happen with this police officer? They'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. May want to secure your pets. <laughs> oh, shit. Or you could be getting a new pet or giving your current pet more love. And we have yes to a commitment. <laughs> oh, goodness. Things are getting serious and luck is on your side. This person could be spying. They could have, this is an investigator here. Someone's got their eye on you and you're doing your research because you're trying to find out about this police officer here. Could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone's still trying to figure themselves out or that's who they're spying on. Could be this King of Pentacles here because they know about a love spell. You have been witched. There was a confession. Someone has to tell you something. This police officer may have to tell you something. And you've, you're at a distance from this person. You and your partner may be physically or emotionally dis distant. And they're asking you to, be, to use caution and to stay away from this crazy person. This person could come in and ask you out on a date. Keeps coming out. <laughs> just keeps coming out. <laughs> I'm just saying. Somebody in the collective is getting ready to end up in a relationship with someone that's been investigating their case. I'm just telling you it's going to happen. And I can't wait till you tell me what's going on. <laughs> I'm very tapped into this. This could be me. You never know. Let's see what this... Let's see if this person is in love with you. Let's see what they're going to say. I miss you. Oh, they miss you. Your eyes, your smile, your voice, your scent, your touch. I am missing everything. Remember how we have connected physically over our lifetimes together. So this is a past life soulmate. My love for you is boundless and unconditional. I miss you being next to me. Wherever I go, I search for you everywhere. So this person is smiling though. So they're, they're following you. You're under surveillance. <laughs> Faith. I have faith and hope in our connection and in us. I know you have been brought into my life for a reason, and it's bigger than both of us. I know that we are destined to be together, and I have faith on God that they will find the way for us. So have faith. This person is sweet. Oh my goodness, you are mine. <laughs> Don't be afraid. <laughs> this, <laughs> they want you to open up <laughs> and... They want you to be healed. They know that you've been fighting karmic ba battles like a motherfucker. You've been following your divine guidance. This person needs you. 
<laughs> and they they're saying hold me they need you to hold them there's something that's getting ready to change and you're going to have a new twin or a new divine union coming in they have made it their mission to see through this illusion they have had sleepless nights and this person is saying you are mine i'm coming <laughs> i'm coming in they're learning how blessed you are this person could be a little insecure this person could could have had doubts and been insecure until you came into their life and divine timing is at hand this person could daydream about you our love is real and they want to be transparent with you you inspire this person and you follow your bliss and you you follow the signs and you strive to let go of this fear and you've overcome so much and this person has watched you do it they know that you're waiting and that you're expecting them <laughs> they know that you're expecting them they're tired of waiting and so are you and there's going to be a message of love coming in they want you to forgive them for not being able to speak to you and for the silence that's had to go on while this time apart has been going on because it was a conflict of interest in the case they're wanting a new beginning with you and they want to protect you they're very passionate about you they're sorry it's taking so long but they promise that things are wrapping up and you're going to be so surprised at how intense this connection is this person thinks that you're their world and very soon whoever has come against you is going to fucking regret it because this emperor here is going to make sure of it this person loves you you've ignited a spark in this person they're saying I love you so be hopeful because communication is coming in with this eight of wands here this person is thinking about you and they're trying to become their best self they're trying to make sure that they're healed for you before they come in and I feel like it's gonna be soon <laughs> and they're gonna take this devil the fuck down <laughs> Just saying. and they may have a pet and you may be getting a new pet but you need to expect to hear from them soon and this person is definitely going to be coming in with a commitment and I think things are going to progress quickly and they know that some that this earth sign was confused with their sexuality so if that's the case we could have a same sex relationship that they cheated on you with and they may not have used protection and they caught something and then whoever they got hooked up with after they left you they ended up bringing it home to this karmic feminine here that they're in a relationship with or a commitment or married to or marrying and now they're both in emotional pain they went against their intuition and now karma is here and so is law enforcement and this emperor get ready to make their life a living fucking hell all right and they're going to take you away from this endless harm that has been inevitable and going on in your life. God, collective. All right. So I'm going to get out of this energy. <laughs> All right, guys. So I, I don't know if this is going to help you guys, but if this is your story, I hope it gives you some guidance and some insight on what's going on with these crazy people in your life. I love you, Collective. Only take what resonates. Bye!